In this video, I want to see how we can find the value of x uh, for this particular matrix is singular. So before we go on to solve it, we have to understand what it means by singular. A matrix is said to be singular if its determinant is equal to zero. So we are going to find the determinant for this and uh, equate it to zero because the matrix is singular. Now, there are so many ways in which we, we, we can find the determinant. So I'll use one of the ways, later we can use other ways as well. So the issue here is you need to find the determinant and equate it to zero because the matrix is singular. So now, we are given this matrix. So I can use this row or that row or that row uh, to calculate the determinant. So let me use this one. Okay. So if you are looking for the determinant, you have to change this matrix from uh, 3 by 3 to 2 by 2, but you'll be factoring out these positions. So if you look at uh, position number x, this one here, you will try to delete the, the column and the row. So we will remain with uh, these entries here. We try to delete this. So you remain with 1, minus 1, 1, 2. You come to this position, it's 1. But remember, this position is plus. This is negative and this is plus. So you put minus 1 because of the position. And then you delete the column and the row. You remain with uh, 2. Uh, minus 1. Then 0, uh, 2, plus this position is positive, you factor out 3, you delete the, the column and the row for 3, you remain with 2, 1, 0, 1. Then you calculate these determinants. But remember, this matrix is singular, so this will give us 0. Okay, for a singular matrix, its determinant is equal to zero. So we proceed and we evaluate this and find the value for x. So you look here, this will be two times uh, this one, we are going to have x, two times this one, we get two. You get minus one when you multiply this. Remember the, the determinant for a two by two matrix. It's uh, the major diagonal for that, minus the minor diagonal for that. So here we are going to get 2 uh, plus, because there will be minus 1 and minus, we get plus. Okay, this will be minus 1, this will be 4 minus 0, so we get 4 minus 0. We come to this one, plus 3, this will be 2 minus 0. This is equal to 0. So the next thing that we do, we try to see accordingly. This will be 3x minus 4 uh, plus 6 is equal to 0. We are going to get 3x is equal to, when we work out this, we get 2, we take it the other side, we get this. So we divide by 3, we divide by so we are going to get x is equal to minus 2. So this will be the value for x for which uh, this particular matrix is singular. So you can use other rules to calculate the determinant, but what you do is after you calculate the determinant, you have to equate the determinant statement or the determinant statement to zero because for a singular matrix, it means it has no index. Now, a matrix has no index if its determinant is zero. Okay, so you, you can use other rules to find the determinants, like, like the basket will do, or the row of sergeants. You can still uh, find the statement for the determinant. Once you find that, you equate it to zero. Okay, then the rest of this, you just simplify and calculate the value. Thank you so much for watching and remember to subscribe.